All right, spit bubbles. This is kind of a unique trick that I haven't seen too many people do. I think probably less than 1% of the population know how to do this. But it's a lot of fun, and here's what it looks like. So there's basically two steps to doing this. The first step is that you need to create a bubble and then put it on your tongue. And then the second step is to launch the bubble off the tongue. So here's how you do the first step. So you want to produce a little bit of spit and then just put it on the bottom row of your teeth, like kind of around here. And then you start out with your tongue in a neutral position just at the bottom of your mouth, like that. And then what you want to do is you want to move your tongue forward and up so that the tip of the tongue is just kind of in between your teeth behind them, like this. And then the rest of the tongue is sitting flat against the roof of the mouth. Now, if you want to, you can apply a little bit of suction, kind of like when you're doing this. So that little bit of suction is going to help keep your tongue at the top of the mouth. And so that motion of the tongue moving um, forward and up is going to create bubbles in the cavity that is below the tongue, like that. I don't know if you can see this very well. See those bubbles? Okay, so once you have the bubbles there, then all you have to do is you can just use your tongue to scoop it up like that. I guess that motion there. Okay, so that's the first step. Um, if you're a beginner, you probably don't want to use a huge bubble because it's going to be pretty hard to launch it off. So something like this would probably work pretty well. Something about that big. So once you know how to do that, then the second step is to launch the bubble off the tongue. Now. So once you have the bubble on the tongue, then you stick out your tongue like this. You don't want your tongue to be flat like that. It's not going to work very well. So what happens is that if your tongue is flat and your bubble is sitting on the tongue, then there's a large contact area between the bubble and the tongue. And that's going to make the bubble want to stick to the tongue. And then you won't be able to blow it off very easily because you'll have to apply it off a lot of force with the air and that's going to break the bubble. But if you curl up your tongue like this and then upwards, then what you can do is you can slide the bubble with the air that you're blowing to the tip of the tongue where it's just barely touching. And then all you have to do is to apply a little more force with the air to launch the bubble off. And so here's what it looks like. No, I can do it. There you go. Okay, so the trick is you want to you want to apply a steady stream of air and then slowly increase the amount of air until the bubble just launches off. Because if you apply a lot of air in the beginning, then you're just gonna break the bubble. So what you want to do is just slowly increase the amount of air until you find that balance that's just enough to launch the bubble off. So that's how you blow spit bubbles. Um, it might take you a little bit of practice. It took me about two days. I think I was 10 and I was just watching TV and practicing spit bubbles. But keep at it and you'll get it. Um, you'll probably find that you're somewhat at the mercy of your spit because sometimes you produce spit that has a lot of surfactant in it and it's very easy to blow bubbles with it. Um, sometimes it's kind of thin and so it'll be pretty hard. But keep at it and you'll get it. Um, if you have questions, I guess I'll try to help. Um, but other than that, uh, have fun and God bless.